This plant here is what we call a rush, and it is part of the genus Juncus. Rushes are typical of wetland, swampy or waterlogged areas. And we assume they can tolerate soils with low oxygen content. In this experiment, I'm interested to know how the level of oxygen in the soil affects various parameters of this species. As part of my experiment, I need to measure soil oxygen content. And to do this, I have this sensor here, the ICTO2 soil oxygen sensor. This sensor connects to the SOM soil oxygen meter. This is a unique oxygen sensor as the delicate electronics are protected in this waterproof casing. We usually install this sensor out in the field, for example in rice paddies or even down shafts at mine sites. You need to be careful where you install oxygen sensors as they are all affected by large fluctuations in temperature. This is not a problem in soils where soil acts as an insulating layer against temperature. To install oxygen sensors in a greenhouse or, or glasshouse, you need to ensure that temperature is tightly regulated. The ICT O2 sensor does have temperature compensated, so it helps in this regard. To install the sensor in a soil, make sure it is going face down like this. Then just backfill your soil around the sensor and your plant of interest. There our sensor is now installed. The SOM soil oxygen meter can support up to 10 ICT O2 sensors and it's been specifically programmed to support these sensors. It is a plug and play system. All you need to do is plug the sensors into one of these ports here. Connect the logger body here and then connect a power supply to the logger body. Once everything is connected, simply use the Windows instrument interface to set the logging interval and that's it. The SOM soil oxygen meter has a micro SD card which can store many years of data. To communicate with the SOM, you can simply use a USB cable to connect directly to the instrument. It also has wireless capabilities, so you can connect wirelessly from your office up the corridor or remotely anywhere in the world through the GSM network. Although the SOM is easy to use straight from ICT International, it has advanced features for you. For example, if you want to recalibrate your ICTO2 soil oxygen sensors, then you can program this new calibration into the SOM. For more information on the SOM soil oxygen meter, check out our website or contact us at ICT International.